Good afternoon, tubers. Stopped by the uh, local tractor supply today. Got me some metal. I didn't have anything around here that would work. Um, it's not real thick. It's probably like 14 gauge, maybe 18 gauge. It's not very thick, but it's thick enough. And uh, I didn't want anything too thick that I wouldn't be able to form it around here. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but I got the basic shape started here. I think I can uh, flex it in enough when I tack weld it on that it'll it'll hold up the shape right. Metal doesn't like to do a, a double bend on a radius. See there's a, a gentle 90 here and a gentle 90 here, but there's the curve of the rim this way. It doesn't like to go that way. So it takes a little bit of uh, persuasion. But all I really did is use a, a wooden block with a curve on the end of it and a ball peen hammer and that's it. I uh, had one C-clamp on here once I got this profile started because the farther you go this end tended to curve back up so I just C-clamped this down and kept working along and I got about to here I moved the C-clamp to the center work this this end down and we should be good to go get this spot cleaned up over here I got a little surface rust on it last night the humidity's up it was uh, acting like it's gonna rain today so but uh, it comes right off with a with a wire brush pretty easy because it's pretty clean I mean I used the power brush on it early, you know yesterday so I mean that that cleans right off no big deal but uh, I'm probably not going to clean it all up until I'm ready to paint it because it's just going to get rusty again so anyway I'm going to move on to the actual hole here and see if I can't get this tack welded on here it's pretty thin so it'll be interesting probably going to burn a couple holes in it but that's what Bondo's for well, I got one patch tacked in there. I admit the welding isn't the prettiest, but it's awful hard to weld thin metal to thinner metal when all you've got is a stick welder. And uh, I don't think it came out too bad. It'll hold. Smooth it all with a little Bondo so that there's no rough edges. And I think I'm going to put a, uh, I've got some six inch wide, uh, one side is sticky rubber. I'm thinking I'll probably put that on there and uh, that way it will uh, smooth over the edges. You can see it a little bit better this way. So the sun's not glaring on it. But anyway, there's one patch. I got a little tacking to do along here and down there and uh, another patch on the other side and then I got to fix that spot there. I got some thicker metal right up there on the VW engine. That's some eighth inch, I believe. Put that in there because that's a lot thicker. I can weld to that, and that'll uh, be more structural. So, moving on. Well, there's the patch job. I don't know if you can see the welding's a little bit better. I never pre profess to be a professional welder, but uh, you can turn the heat up on the welder, and it, of course, it welds better. So that's what it looks like on the inside of the rim and uh, of course there's the other patch and that's what it looks like on the outside I'll fill that in with Bondo and paint that and you'll never even see it well you might see it a little bit but it won't look that bad so tomorrow since it's getting on to about dinner time I will make this patch, heat this patch into shape, and uh, get it mounted on here, and uh, see if I can find my bondo, and start patching the holes and smoothing the edges. There might be a couple more spots along here that I want to tack if this is loose. So if you put bondo on there and it's loose, it'll just crack and come out, and that won't be any good. Then you'll have sharp pieces of bondo rolling around inside the tire. We don't want that. So, uh, if there's any loose spots, I'll tack them. Of course, this side will be held by the tire. But if there's any real bad spots, I'll tack them too. you see that I, I tack the edges down here on both sides. And then when my new metal will go over the top of here, and I'll weld the new metal along here, and it'll cover that right over. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. And uh, check, again, check in again tomorrow when we should be done with the welding.
I can this 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 patch is wider so it might actually be more difficult. I may make that in two pieces, but I don't know yet. So we'll see.